that's back when you still had like kind of neighborhood dogs, dogs that just roamed around and everybody knew them and some of them were good dogs and some of them were not so good dogs. And you know, like when I was a kid, if you came home dog bit, you got a whipping and they whipped you because you got too close to a dog that might bite you. You see how that's just good common sense living? Not today, you know, there's not very many, no, there's not very many like just dogs running around doing stuff. And for those of you who aren't familiar with that, with that like, that way of living, it sounds really even strange to you, like, right? Like, Stoney, what do you mean dogs used to run around? What you have to understand is the whole history of dogs and humans is humans living someplace and a bunch of dogs living where they lived, but pretty much having kind of a free run of the community, right? Now, there was kind of some things that, uh, you know, like people nowadays don't like. There was a lot of free breeding. There was a lot of puppies born under porches or, uh, you know, under wagons. Okay, that, that did happen, right? But the reality is that's how dogs you know, that's how dogs survived for, for since, since the first caveman adopted the first wolf, you know. And then all of a sudden we make dog breeds and we have dogs for particular purposes and we put all kinds of limitations on uh, the dog's, uh, you know, maturation process, its exposure to environments, its, uh, you know, uh, early life learning opportunities. We start putting limits on that. We start selectively breeding dogs to have overpronounced traits. Uh, and then that creates problems. But the problems didn't used to be quite as big because like as, as, a, as, a, as a young person, you were exposed to lots of different dogs. And so you kind of got an idea of what it was like to be around different dogs in open environments, okay? These dogs, these Dutch Shepherds, Malinois, Bel Belgian Shepherds, whatever, they were, all, they were all just farm dogs, you know? They were farm dogs until somebody said, hey, I like the way this particular one looks. We're only gonna breed the ones that look a certain way together. Then they did that a few times and they call that a dog breed, okay? But up to that point, they were just dogs, they lived on farms, and when you were a kid on a farm, you would go to the farm next door and uh, you'd meet the dogs. And by the time you were an adult, you kind of had an idea of how dogs looked and how, how they looked corresponded to how they acted. Well, not anymore. Pretty much the only experience people have with dogs now uh, is via two-dimensional formats like YouTube, Instagram, uh, other social media outlets. Um, or maybe you meet them at a park and they're neutered uh, and they're on a leash. You know, so you just don't get to see dogs being dogs. And so you just don't know what you don't know.